run through where uh, we'll get you warmed up. So do, do 10 press ups for me, just to get a little bit of blood in your uh, upper body. This is a uh, morning PT session with, with Connor. He's coming for his uh, mm. physical assessment for the day. Bryce is pulled in again, isn't it? Quarter right. Quarter right. Hold that there. Cool turn to right. Nice. Hold that. Nice. The the new muscle that's been added, but also just the the efficiency and the more aggressive push in the off season, but the shorter push. Yeah. Because it's, it's allowed the tissue to come on, but it hasn't necessarily allowed the time frame where the fat would accumulate as well. Yeah. Because if, so if we push this for another four months, in another two months time, you're kind of maxed out in terms of the muscle that's going to come on. Great. And then you start to get a little bit softer, yeah. a little bit softer. Yeah. Whereas we haven't had that time to happen. No, it's been a very quick transition phase into, you know, that off season shape into now. <laughs> Which you means know, the condition lean. pulls back in. Yeah. 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 Comes in quickly. Yeah, it was disgusting, man. You, were, you, were, you said at one point. I was like, "How's food been this week?" And he said, "Yeah, I've been sick most days." And I was like, <laughs> like "That's probably the end of this now." Yeah. Based on the vomit this week, <laughs> it wasn't all just getting two thousand calories a Based on those symptoms that you just said, it does sound very likely that it is, uh, it is a little bit lower than we'd expect it to be. I'd swap over as planned, um, just so we can have some clarity over what we're doing is is what we think we're doing. We're probably gonna see a, a 279, potentially 280 hold quite nicely. Obviously the new training setup is gonna be put in now. I would then have um, a little bit in the middle and most at the bottom because then you're loading the the end range and you're dropping off in the in the in the lengthen position. In, in light of this, and I spoke to I spoke to Jordan about this a, a few days ago. What he's been doing is he's been he's been still loading in in the middle and then top and middle. Where we want to be in the industry, what we want to do, who we want to work with, and and how we want to operate. Does that start right? Yeah, one minute twenty seconds. That that was one minute twenty seconds. Yeah, man. Fuck me. That's what I'm saying. You can talk, bro. Wow, okay. Welcome to Pro Coach. No, it's start again. Welcome to Pro Coach. No, it's start again. <laughs> I, I want to get that same tone that I got the first time. Welcome to Pro Coach. Welcome to Pro Coach. <laughs> Stacy Solomon. <laughs> Where dreams are made of. Oh, God, welcome to Pro Coach. <laughs> welcome to Pro Coach. Start again. Am I looking at the, the actual lens? Look at directly on the lens, but you kind of look towards the tree. Right. <laughs> oh, there's a tree! <laughs> Things we do for massive adapters.
going to be featuring a lot more on this page as well. Uh, we have got leg day at Gym Unity. We are with Mr. Mark Hector. Uh, quad bias focus leg day. That's obviously the main thing for Mark and to be fair, it's the main thing for you as well. Uh, Ross is very strong posteriorly, hamstrings, glutes, super strong, massive hip hinge. Um, but now you know, the focus for him in the, in the last bit of this off season is to bring things up on those front poses to make sure his, his quads can match the density in the rear shots. So um, we're going to have some fun on the side attack in a minute. Today is going to be adductor side attack, uh, low stance leg press, and a leg extension, so we'll get to work. Service, that is.
take a little bit of unloaded work for that left hand side just to get it moving a little bit before the Tuesday following week. For you today, I don't mind going live stream, just adding one more set. So if you if we go five and a half or six, we'll just do for him we'll just do three instead of two. Tentative um, with the loading for him just because we had that little pec strain the week before last. We're still nursing that a little bit at the moment in terms of putting it into rehab. So, um, loading wise, I just don't want him pulling down that handle, having to brace too hard. So, we're going to pull back a, pull back the load a little bit for him today, but just add a little bit more volume. So, instead of, for example, the two sets he would have done, we'll just add an additional set on, but just pull the load down on each set. So, it's a little bit easier for him to brace, but we can still accumulate the same amount of workload for the session. Let's try and make this, make this weight as far as we can. On the course the whole time, buddy. Good. Good. Squeeze them hard every single rep. Get as much intensity as you can those quads. Yeah, nice, buddy. Perfect. 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 Gonna squeeze them hard every rep.
So the, uh, the cat's out the bag, so to speak. Um, obviously, as you guys saw from the from the video over on uh, Instagram when we introduced it, um, you know, I think the the essence of that first conversation was, uh, and Jay said this rightly when we were filming. You know, the it, it, timing is everything in regards to when you do certain things and when you make certain certain decisions. Um, and it was just right on all levels, uh, right in terms of where the business is going, where, where we're going as a group of individuals. And I think following 2021, there's a, there's a certain trajectory that I wanna, I wanna follow and pursue from a competitive level with the athletes around me and the athletes who I coach. And you know, this is, uh, this is ultimately the vessel that's gonna get me there in terms of that long-term nurturing of the goal and coaching on the level I wanna coach in. And then, you know, organically that will drip down into the business as a whole. So I've got an exceptional group of coaches around me who are all exceptional at what they do, who are going to be onboarding people into the team and, you know, service is everything with what we're doing and um, it drips down from the top, you know, whether it's a IFPB pro trying to push for the Olympia, whether it's a, a, a competitor trying to get it to the two bro stage for a, for a British final and a pro card, whether it's a, you know, an amateur competing in another federation, um, all the way down to a photo shoot or a, a dream that you're pursuing in terms of a look, you know, a body transformation, a photo shoot. The the mantra and the mindset that we that we preach just drips down from the top and everyone follows the same way of life, uh, the same way of thinking and that same progressive nature of, you know, being in a position where you're always trying to upskill and level up and that's what we're all about. So it's a really proud moment to see this come true and um, it's gonna be a, a really cool, a really cool future. Gasofficial.com Yeah. It's so difficult to avoid that, to our size. Your own, your choice. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like trying to do it with tempo as well. Yeah. Trying to go slower and keep yeah. the consistent throughout the whole of it, but it's like yeah. before your back starts to tighten up as well. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got the cow, you hear, don't change the speed. <laughs> your tempo is maximum. Right then, 20 reps. Huh? 15 to 20. Don't change the speed. 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 Don't change Come on! Come on! Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Ah! Fuck off! Come on! 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 So, pro coach, the secret is out, and I couldn't be more excited to be asked to be part of the competition prep division with Calum. Um, you know, for the past couple of years, it's been my dream to be, you know, as prolific as I can within the space and within the industry. And I really feel like this opportunity that I've been given is that, and I do really truly plan to grab with both hands and run with it with everything that I have. So, to kind of honour the situation, I'm down here in Team Unity, training with Carl, training with Mark, and over the next couple of months it's going to be a lot more regular, you're going to be seeing me a lot more on my own channel, on Carl's channel, and hopefully in the social media space as well, but it's a massive year for all of us, it's a massive year for the team, it's a massive year for the athletes, and you know, you're, if you don't know us now, you're going to know us later.
work, now we'll work for these. Don't smooth. Don't speed up, don't speed up. Smooth, oh. smooth, smooth. Oh. Again, come on. Big contraction at the top, isn't it? Last one, last one. Oh. Yeah, relax.
Come on, bud. Work, you know. That was a uh, quad bias leg day. Quite a successful leg day. We had to pull things back a little bit just to be mindful of uh, Mark's Mark's uh, hip. But, uh, <laughs> hip. But, uh, <laughs> it's uh, that that was actually much better than expected. So we got a decent amount of volume in there. No uh, no real issues. Um, if you want to talk us through the, the session from top, just yeah, briefly. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So came in, start with the doctor. Just again maintaining some stability from the start, getting things moving. Again, marking some issues with the hips, so getting in there and kind of getting that moving and assessing the tolerance there straight off the jump, it's going to be a good call. From there, move straight into the hack spot, reverse band, again, just looking at tolerance there, looking at the capacity for the session we have throughout, and you know, maintain attention to our capacity to perform the whole way through the session. Again, I said in the previous video of mine that we need to look at programming beyond just single exercises. We need to look at the full session architecture before we start going to make it, excuse me, we start making a few claims. So from there, we've got the leg extension, again, being mindful predominantly a mark, Get some volume in there, accumulate some metabolic stress, and then finish what we had left on the pivot leg press. Milk it for unilateral, two sets, and that was us packed, finish with some calves, done, dusted, enough work done, enough safe work done, and again, pushing myself, pushing Mark, pushing Kyle towards where we need to be. There'll be, a, there'll be a lot more content, I'll get Ross down more, and just general, just in terms of just documenting the process for a lot of these guys who are on stage this year as well. A lot of people visit, a lot of people come to stay, and uh, it'll be really cool to just document that process for their individual journeys. So um, it's gonna be a really exciting year. This is the start. We'll see you next week. <laughs>